Vuol dire che nel no. Epigenetics is a system of gene regulation that allows cells that have precisely the same DNA to look and behave differently. So it's essentially another layer of information that sits on top of our DNA, on top of our genetic code, that interprets the instructions of the genetic code. Unlike a DNA sequence variant, a change in the DNA code, a change in the epigenetic state of a gene can potentially be modified. So if epigenetics does underlie a lot of human disease, then there's great scope, I think, for new treatments. I was the first member of my family, my extended family, to ever go to university. Um, and in fact, I wasn't even really that keen to go to university. I just wanted to get out into the real world and work and, and learn. But I guess I was blessed with a natural curiosity um, I find all things interesting, epigenetics in particular, but all science is fascinating to me. I think it's such a privilege to be able to work in science and to ask questions every day. I think it was just a natural evolution of myself. I, I couldn't imagine going and doing a job where I didn't get to do what I loved. And I love asking questions and finding answers. And, and it's sort of, in some ways, maybe I'm a kid who hasn't grown up, I still just have that natural curiosity and my work allows me to indulge that every day. I would be an artist except I don't have any talent. I can't paint, but I wish I could. Barbara McClintock, who, um, who won the Nobel Prize almost 50 years after the work that she she did. She was recognised 50 years after the work that, um, that got her the Nobel Prize. But she was really um, a pioneer in gene regulation, which is really, um, really the birth of epigenetics. No one wanted to listen to her. And in fact, she eventually gave up publishing on this stuff in 1953, I think. But now there's been a huge renaissance in this work. And so she's really recognised now for the pioneer that she was. And so she's kind of my hero. Vuol dire che non è